if you've ever taken your child to the pediatrician because the ears weren't draining and getting these ear infections, you've likely been told that uh, kids have horizontal eustachian tubes and that's why they're prone to ear infections. Now, gravity is not required to help ears drain. It's the same kind of process as your stomach. You could stand on your head, take a bite of an apple, the food's still gonna get down there. There are processes, little muscles that milk the food, uh, food down into your stomach. You have the same deal in your head that milks the fluid down into your ears, nose, throat, so you can drain on out of there. In your head, it's called the tensor veli palatini. That's the name of the muscle that connects your eustachian tube to the roof of your mouth. If you've ever flown and you chewed gum to help your ears pop, that's why that works. That muscle that connects the roof of your mouth kind of tugs on the eustachian tube to help work things along. But there's also a neurological connection to that muscle to the top part of your neck. That's why when the pediatric chiropractors give these gentle, specific adjustments to this top area of their spine, their ears drain so well, and all of a sudden we break this cycle and they stop getting these chronic reoccurring ear infections. My name is Dr. Dave Hansen, and please reach out to us if you'd like to find out more.